Hey guys, so I'm bringing you a video today on Francesco Totti. Just a quick review on him, just because he is one of my favorite players. And I thought I'd do something like this for like all of my favorite players. But uh, to start off, I just want to talk about some of his stats that you guys might be into. And for the first one, uh, I mean, the biggest one is 38 pace. That's, a lot of people are going to turn away just because his card says 38 pace. But honestly, if you don't play a fast game, or if you have midfielders around him, then you don't have to honestly worry about pace. As far as his other stats, they're insane too. Uh, he has 84 shooting, 87 passing, 81 dribbling. I mean, defense is 21, but why why, why would you play defensive with Totti? And then his physical is 66, but I'll tell you what, in-game he doesn't really feel like that. Besides those like base stats, we'll just look at like the best stats he has. So, he has 90 volleys, 86 penalties, 88 shot power, 84 free kick, 90 short passing, 85 long passing, 83 crossing, 91 vision, 91 ball control, and 82 dribbling. So those were all like his best stats. Obviously he's going to have a lot more. Did I say 86 long shots? Because he has 86 long shots. There you go. But yeah, I mean, his weakest ones are probably going to be his jumping, stamina, acceleration, and sprint speed. But the way I played him, I didn't need any of that stuff. I'm just going to give you guys some pros and cons for Francesco Totti. And like, well, I think like where you guys could play him or if you guys can play him in a certain like spot. The one thing I really, really, really loved about Tati was his positioning. So if you guys play him in that two striker formation and have Tati sit right behind him, Tati was always there in the right spot at the right time. And you guys will see that like literally time and time again in these clips. But yeah, I'm hitting the post. I've hit the post and crossbar actually a few times with him. Probably should have aimed a little bit better, but for the most part, that's because he's in the right position if you guys want to play the way I would play him is put fast people around him So as you guys can see I have Dybala around him my starting squad I had Icardi and Hamshik, but I soon took them out for Nangolan and Jovetic and it really worked out better for me to do that Just because Nangolan is a little bit faster and Jovetic can hold the ball up better to bring Totti back into play Which Icardi honestly couldn't do but that team the team you guys saw at the beginning just sub out Jovetic and Nangolan. Anyway, continuing on with Totti, another thing that I really loved was obviously his long shots. If you guys can get him on target or get into space, which you can do easily with Totti's ball control because he can move around the pitch quite nicely, just take a long shot. You can you can try you can take it from anywhere. I mean, I wouldn't take it from anywhere, but you know, I'd take it from anywhere. Following that, it's his passing and his vision. I don't know, I felt like he always found Dybala or always found Jovetic or always found someone to get the ball to no matter what the situation was. So there'd be a lot of times where I'd be under pressure just because Tati's not the fastest guy on the field. Actually, probably one of the slowest players in the game. So it's going to be very easy for the opponent to close in on him. But right when they're closing in on him and you pass that ball away, Tati's going to find someone. He's not really going to lose the ball. And that's what he's meant for. It's just to distribute to hold like I said you're just not gonna lose it following that I want to say his his physicality so it says he has 66 physical but it felt a lot stronger than that just because you know you really can hold the ball on with Totti he's a big guy and despite his strength being not the strongest and him being 40 years old he can hold the ball up nicely so if you guys are slotting him in that whole position number 10 center attacking mid uh, wherever just pretty much the main midfielder you guys should do fine with him I'd even go as far as to say you can maybe play him at center mid if you f play some fast center mids around him. Another thing too is I've taken every penalty I've received in the game. I've I've taken them with Totti, never missed one. Never really had it in doubt that he would miss. And I did play 10 games with him. As you, At the end you guys will see that it says 11 games. But uh, there was a disconnection so it was actually 10 games. Alright, another thing I really liked was his short passing. If you guys wanted to play one twos in the box or give and go, it, some of you might know that as, then it was very, very easy to do because you give that to Tati, the guy would make the run or the player would make the run, and then Tati would give it literally right on his feet or right in front of his feet to run onto. And that was beautiful for me. Another thing for Tati for me was, and you guys might might laugh at this, is his dribbling. Despite him being super, super slow, if not the slowest player I've ever played with, he can dribble and dodge tackles actually quite nicely uh, just because he has that ball control like I said and his dribbling is only 81 but with the ball control he the ball is literally sticking to his feet so you guys can just get through anyone with that I mean not anyone but you can get through a decent amount of players open up and then somebody will run on 
and then Tati will find him with either a nice chip through ball, a long ball, or just a short, quick give and go, like I said earlier. But yeah, um, Tati is one of my favorite players to use. Um, I've never had any problems with him, especially with the team I had, just because I had all those fast guys or um, aggressive guys around him. So as long as you guys can build a team around Tati, you shouldn't have a problem. And he's a great guy for a starter squad. A lot of people sleep on him just because he has 40 pace. And rightly so. I mean, p pace is kind of a big deal in this game, still is. But if you can play those balls to fast guys, and it doesn't matter how fast Tati is because the ball will be faster than the person running. He'd put the ball in front of the player and it would stop right when the player got onto it, still in that player's like stride. So if you guys like to play nice through balls and want a player to like get onto it with no problems, no dribbling errors, no ball control errors, then give it to Tati to pass it to them. But yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, I finished... I So it says 11 games, like I said, but it was actually 10 because of a disconnection. So 10 games, 7 goals, 3 assists. Um, I probably would have got more assists if... Actually, that's kind of stupid, but if there was such a thing as second assists, because for the most part, Tati was starting the plays in which I was scoring. So he wasn't the final guy to assist the ball. He was the guy before that starting the entire play. So yeah, guys, I really like this card. Honestly, I'm going to give him like literally a 9 out of 10. Maybe even a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, he's not going to be the best player you've ever used. But in terms of a starter squad, I don't think you can go wrong with Tati. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I might bring you guys another review. It's not really my thing. But if I, if I do a, on a player I like, really, really like, then I will definitely send that out to you guys. Anyway, thanks.